Hello, Internet. Mike Bertolini here. I'm working more on the Triceratops model from Pegasus. Um, don't really do a lot of this off camera, so basically picking up from where my last video recording this was. Um, I learned a couple things when doing this video and my last little short video um, on the uh, Jurassic Tribe unboxing. And that's one camera position. The camera didn't work well. Um, it should have been closer to me than it was. And the lighting should have been, I should have done more to do the lighting. Now, yes, you can see the corner of my bedroom here um, on the right side of the screen. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. Um, I have a couple cats. You can see the edge of a lizard tank back there. Um, a lamp that does not work. Um, and just a little bit of a few other models that I have in the pipeline to work on. Uh, so, uh, my main concerned with this model was just finishing the overall paint job. Um, you can see here in the video, what I'm trying to do is the finer detail of the dark blue on the frill, um, around the eye horns, um, around the eyes. Um, I want to make sure that I don't... My goal is not to paint over any of the horn, the browns for the horns, the bones, colors. Now I know it's hard to see in the video, but I'm really trying to focus on slow movements and doing everything right. And to be honest, if this video had recorded as I had initially planned it to, this wouldn't be a problem. But the uh, my normal recording space is not usable today, so I had to make do what I could, and it turned out where it was not that great. Oh, so I'm just touching up a little bit. I really don't want to leave any gray of the, from the original resin. If at all possible. The gray is at least a decent color. It will blend. Um, but it will match with the blue. But still, I wanted to uh, make it a little bit better for you. So I'm doing it this way. See, I'm, I'm really trying to move the model in front of the camera whenever possible. Um, but it does take a lot of effort to do it, and I don't always remember because either in this camera position I had to hold it at almost arm's length when I wanted to show it off. It was a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Oh... Part of me just wanted to get this model on the road to being done. What's going to happen next, coming forward, is you're going to see me. I'm going to work on painting the back. Um, I mean, first, obviously, my goal is to finish touching up the feet around the toes, so being careful with that. Again, you cannot see because I'm, I, when I make the model, I'm obviously holding it pretty close to me so I can see what I'm doing, carefully painting it. It's not very conducive to the camera. Um, a lot of other YouTube channels have is they have an overhead camera shot so that the camera can see 
watch the person working while they're making them out, and that's something that I just am able to do. I have to use the tools that I have available to me. One of the things I intend to do is eventually get a second camera where I can do this production better to make it easier for me to showcase model when I'm making models what it's going to look like. But that's not that hasn't happened yet. Um, if you want to help me get to that point, feel free to donate. Um, link in the description to my coffee page. Donate some money. Um, and I will give you a shout out in the comments uh, if you do support me. I might also end up putting a link to my Patreon page here. And that, if I do that, the link for that was going to be in the description. Um, and of course, shout outs on Patreon if you donate and you'd be listed as a producer and credits that I do for the videos. Oh, man. I did my best. To, I did speed this up a little bit because I realized how boring it'll be just to kind of barely see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I really should do this with other videos too. If you watch some of my other videos, there are long stretches of time where things aren't happening and I should really just zoom through those parts. Uh, so, right now, working a lot with the dark blue still. I'm trying to just so ever carefully do around the toes. Um, I think I said before that glue doesn't adhere well to paint. So I'm trying to touch to paint the areas of the feet that I don't believe will be touching glue while painting the areas that are going to be visible to anybody who looking at the model. <sighs> um, the hardest part about doing this section was near the dew claws of the models on the feet because the legs block each other, so it's hard to sometimes paint the interior spaces underneath the belly because the opposite leg is in the way, and you don't want to risk painting something on the other leg just to um, because you're trying to reach another part of the model. Okay, so at this point, I'm basically satisfied with the overall dark blue coloring, but you know, that's not where the model is going to stop. I'm going to do more. I totally intend to do more. So. Looking at a couple different other paints, is what I'm going to do is a small, a much smaller, relatively speaking, job. Yep, and I'm going to start selecting some other blues. So my more um, my army painter colors, which, as you've seen before, um, are D and D paints or D. &D of the Triceratops and 
so I can connect one end to the base of the fro, the other end to the tail. Um, this is experimental work, and when it comes to color colorizations and patterns and all that, you know, when it comes to dinosaurs, the world is really up to you, whatever it looks like. Um, you can get, look at pictures for reference, um, get some, maybe some ideas, but in the end, it's all up to you. And that's something you're going to notice here that I'm just sort of partially experimenting. Um, now, I go use all, several different colors because I'm trying to shade this very well. This color blue doesn't do a whole lot. And it blends a lot well with the um, dark blue that the uh, body is primarily covered in. Um, so what I end up doing is I'm just kind of scrapping it. I paint it, but then I'm like, yeah, I'm not really fond of it. So it's more just there to be an additional base color to what I'm going to use afterwards, which is going to be a much lighter blue. The chalk, it's, it appears a little chalkier. Um, if I was to give it like a more descriptive word. But, you know, I'm going to try my best to do what I can. Anyway, but even at this point, I know it's not going to work well for me. So, uh, paint this out. This is also when I came to the stark realization that the lighting was terrible in here for model making because I wasn't even able to see half of the things I was doing. And like it really became clear at this point. Um, but this wet blending, um, so I blended the two colors together, the two blues on the spine together. And now I'm going to apply the light blue. This was the end goal to widen the patternings on the back and the hip, giving it a sort of, you know, fern-like appearance to sort of break it up so that give it the camouflage that it it would have if it was a living creature. But at the same time, I'm also using this to lighten up the tail section. Because I've taken a lot of inspiration from, you know, you look at inspiration from other places and one of those places is the um, various other model makers, and one of the common things to see with ceratopsians is a white or nearly white tail, something that's pretty out there compared to the majority of the body. And that's what I wanted to replicate, and that's what I wanted to do, and, but I didn't want to just make it a white tail. So I took this very light blue, figured, will look very great and you can sort of see me working on it here um but at the end of the video i will show it a little bit more so you can see it better um, i'm gonna this and something i've learned from my life is the tail and is a good way to confuse predators attacking the head. So the tail, it, while it's very bright, it's meant to attract predators. So all that's very bright. The frill, which will ha does have some XMD right now, and you'll see, I'm going to add some of that light blue to it, is 
in relative speaking, more darker and just more to help with the cam overall camouflage. This is definitely fun too. I really wanted to finish this paint job today. You know, I would like to have the model itself done before the end of the year. Um, and with the way, the speed that I'm going through this, that's probably what's going to end up happening. Um, you know, from the base building and all that. Hopefully I'll be able to make a much better video the next time I show this to you. That I do this modeling. Alright. So. That's all I'll say. Yep, see the tail. You can see how I have some blue, light blue on the head and on the face. And on the frill. But now I want to do some more accents and first accent is going to be a white. And it's not going to be a lot. It's a small little amount and depending on the way the paint poured is the first time I've actually used this white in anything. But basically what I'm doing is you know, I just want to put some dots on the four legs. That's it. So nice. I have a tiny uh, smallish paintbrush I'm going to try my best to create a little dot. It doesn't work out initially, um, but I'm going to keep at it as I kind of just stipple it. I just kind of want to create a little bit more dynamic coloring, too, because I don't, I'm not going crazy with it. Um, because it's, in the end, I'm trying to represent my take on a living animal. So, stipple, stipple, stipple. Try a little better. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Put a little bit, a few little white dots on the frill, but again, mostly on the shoulders or the front legs. Now, what I'm also going to do is take a dark brown color and create a few more accents in some of the lighter colored areas. Specifically putting a couple dots of this leather brown on the tail and near the hips on the big stripe on the hip. And this is gonna be the last color that I add to but at least the model that at least I have planned to add. I don't know if I'm gonna add anything else. And if I do, I'm just gonna add it off camera. I'm not gonna bother with another image. But as for the future end, that's just gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay. So I do wanna thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment below.